In this chemical kinetics podcast dealing with hydrocarbon oxidation, we will be talking about the important species within a complex hydrocarbon fuel. In this presentation, important species that make up complex mixtures in hydrocarbon fuels are introduced. Several classes of hydrocarbon species are presented, such as N-alkanes, branched alkanes, cycloalkanes, alkenes, and aromatics. Furthermore, the concepts of surrogate fuels and saturated and unsaturated hydrocarbons will be discussed. The paraffins are a class of molecules which are straight chains of singly bonded carbons. Each carbon is connected to three hydrogens and one carbon at the ends, or two carbons and two hydrogens in the middle. In this slide, there are several representations of heptane, from name and simple formula to three-dimensional representations. The three-dimensional structure reflect the tetrahedral configuration around each carbon. There is a standard nomenclature for molecules within organic chemistry. The backbone of the nomenclature is the set of names reflecting the number of carbons. The suffix for a straight-chained hydrocarbon is ane. The prefix reflects the number of carbons. For example, heptane has the prefix hept for seven carbons, and the suffix ane meaning that it's an N-alkane. A saturated hydrocarbon is another name for an alkane, where all the carbons and hydrogens are connected with a single bond. The alkanes, or saturated hydrocarbons, with N carbons have two N plus two hydrogens attached. For example, heptane with seven carbons has 16 hydrogens. These compounds can be straight chains, as is here, or even branched, which we'll talk about next. Cycloalkanes, or as they're often called within petroleum industry, naphthenes, are singly bonded alkanes, but are wrapped around with bond bonding forming a ring. These are no longer saturated hydrocarbons because of, the, because of the ring, and a single cycle naphthene of N carbons has two N hydrogens. An important aspect in terms of the internal energy of the molecule is the strain energy, the energy that is needed to bend the normal tetrahedral shape of a, of a carbon bonding to smaller angles. Note that with a six-membered ring, the carbons can still remain in their tetrahedral shape, thus there is no ring strain. The strain energy plays an important role in intramolecular reactions, meaning one part of the single molecule is reacting with another part of the same molecule. The next important class of molecules is the branched alkanes. They are still saturated hydrocarbons with singly bonded carbons. The only difference from the N-alkanes is that each carbon can be connected to any combination of four hydrogens and carbons. Note that the number of hydrogens is still 2N plus 2 for N carbons. The molecule shown here is isooctane, another important fuel component. The bonding of isooctane is interesting in that it has several types, primary, secondary, tertiary, referring to how many carbons are attached. This distinction is important for reactive chemistry because each type of carbon, whether it's primary, secondary, or tertiary, has significantly different reactivity. Another class of unsaturated hydrocarbons have at least one pair of double bonded carbon atoms. They are not saturated with hydrogens. The suffix changes from ane for singly bonded hydrocarbons to ene for doubly bonded hydrocarbons. The double bond is also not in the tetrahedral anymore, rather it is flat. Hexatriene has six carbons, hex, and three tri double bonds, ene. With each bond being flat, the whole molecule is flat. This will be an important aspect in the formation and structure of the next group, the aromatics. Aromatics are an important structure within combustion chemistry. The interesting aspect of an aromatic, like benzene, is that the three double bonds making up the molecule resonate, a very special, stable electronic bonding form. Another interesting aspect of benzene is that the carbons are all the same and indistinguishable. A double bond 
with a single bond to the next carbon and a single bond to a hydrogen. Electronically, one can imagine one big circular bond around the whole ring. Not only are they important components in Crotorium fields, but they're also the building blocks of soot. Soot are many aromatic rings bound together, and then the flat structures are stacked one on top of each other with pi bonding. This is a chart of the composition of kerosene. The composition of diesel fuels and gasoline are equally complex mixtures of all types and sizes of hydrocarbons. Previously, we have seen how complex modeling can be even for simple molecules such as hydrogen and methane. To model all the individual components of a petroleum fuel would be impossible. For this reason, a modeler chooses a few critical components matching both the reactive characteristics and also the physical characteristics, such as density, boiling point, etc. Due to the complexity of normal fuels, they can really only be modeled by simpler approximations, called surrogate fuels. A surrogate fuel is defined by selecting one or more components of the complex fuel which are representative of the reactive behavior. In addition, consideration about the physical properties, for example density, have to be taken into account. The classic surrogate fuel for gasoline, which is also used in the definition of motor and research octane numbers, MON and RON respectively, is the primary reference fuel, which is a mixture of isooctane and n-heptane. Recently, some aromatics have been added, such as benzene, toluene, and propylbenzene. Common surrogate fuels for diesel include the primary reference fuel supplemented with larger linear alkanes, typically decane or dodecane, or even possibly alpha-methylnaphthalene, a double-bonded aromatic with a methyl group. Surrogate fuels for kerosene are common, commonly large linear alkanes, such as decane or dodecane, with, for example, a methyl cyclohexane or other cyclohexane added. Other additions include simple aromatics such as toluene. Biofuels are often considered to be conventional fuels with some additives of alcohol, methanol or ethanol, or ethers, ethyl tertiary butyl ether, ETBE, or methyl tertiary butyl ether. Rapseed oil is a long chain ester which can be modeled with a small ester group.